Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Riley King, and welcome to my afternoon news report right here on the Riley King Network. Let's begin. Mother of young dairy boy killed in murder-suicide speaks out. Grieving mother, Karen Edmonds, visited the home where her ex-husband, Matt, and her son, Preston, were found dead Monday in an apparent murder-suicide. Preston was just six years old. Investigators said Matt took measures to poison himself and young Preston with carbon monoxide. Edmonds last saw Preston in January. She's living in Maine since the fall and said being away from her son was difficult. Edmonds said she and Matt First son, Connor, also died when he was six after falling through the ice into a swimming pool. His death happened years before Preston was born, but Edmonds said they were similar. The New Hampshire Attorney General's office said they will be looking to see if Connor's death had any impact on what drove Matt to take Preston's life and his own. After Connor's death, Matt tried to help pass a law requiring fences or covers for pools. In wake of this strategy, Edmonds said she would like to see legislation that would allow others to step in and force someone to be admitted for mental health treatment. And that does it for my afternoon news report right here on the Riley King Network. I hope you all have a great rest of your afternoon, and I'll see you back here later on today for another news report and for the Riley King Newscast. Goodbye, everyone.